Now we're going to talk about the most important lesson. What are we going to do with all these modes, you know? So we're going to put these modes with the chord. It's like if you have a major chord, usually the idea is like major, we want to put it with a major scale, but it's not what it is. When you have a, a C major chord or C6 or C9, C major 7, C major 7 with a 9th, the actual scale, scale is Lydian. You're going to play Lydian over this chord. You can play and improvise. See that it works. Now we're going to talk about in case that if it's the key, that's the exception, it's backwards. When the major chord is the same tonic as the key, that you are playing a tune in C major. When you have a C major chord, then you're going to play the C Ionian in this case. Like if you play a tune in B flat major, you have a B flat major chord, you're going to play B flat Ionian. If on that same tune, then you have a, uh, uh, let's say, a E flat major 7 chord, then you're going to play Lydian again, the other one. So let's try with the Ionian right now. If you have a chord of a major seventh chord that has a sharp eleven or a sharp five, it's definitely going to be Lydian, like C major seven flat five, C major seven flat five with a ninth, or sharp eleven or sharp eleven with a ninth. It's going to be Lydian for sure. There's no way you can put the fourth in there. Here we go. <laughs> Next is uh, the important chord for the rock and roll player, the <laughs> dominant seventh chord. Like if you have a, a C7, you notice that everything I do is in C because I don't want to move around. You will have to, you know, do the same patterns comparing with the chords, of course, you know. I do everything with the same root right now. So if you have a C7, the C7 with the ninth, the C, uh, uh, the C7, with the 6th, or C13, or C11, with the 9th, or without the 9th, all those dominant 7 chords like that, will require a mixolydian scale. Now, if you have a 7th chord with a flat 5 or sharp 11, you're going to play the Lydian Mixolydian scale. Now I want to say some, something that is very important. Most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, when you have a C7 flat 5, uh, this chord is actually a sharp 11 chord, which means it has a fifth in it. That's why you can play that, that scale. Okay, so let's try it with the chords, you'll see. Now we're going to look at another chord that has a different name. It's called the plus chord or augmented chord and uh, his real name is a uh, seven sharp five chord. The scale for that particular chord is the whole tone scale. If you listen one day to that song, uh, Sunshine of My Life, you wonder the second chord of that particular song at the beginning is the augmented chord and is using that whole tone scale. Next, we have a chord that sometimes is called sharp five, 
but in fact is a flat 13 chord. If you have a flat 13 chord, flat 13 with a 9th also works, you're going to play super mixolydian. <laughs> Now, if you have a C7 flat 9 chord, C7 sharp 9 chord, C7 uh, flat 9 with a 13th chord or sharp 9, you're going to have to play the auxiliary diminished scale. <laughs> This scale is uh, used a lot in, in jazz, by the way. Now, if that particular chord is the third of the key, you're going to have to use the Spanish region chord, uh, the Spanish region scale, I mean. Okay. Now, for an outer outer chord, you're going to have the outer scale. So, outer you is uh, like seven. Flat 5, sharp 5, flat 9, sharp 9, or any combination of such. That will work just perfect. So we're going to play that super Locrian scale. If that particular chord is the third of the key, called outer, then it's the third of the key, then you're going to play Spanish region. Now, if this is the third of the key, and it's a sharp 9 chord, like C7, sharp 9 being the third of the key, I'm going to play the Phrygian harmonic major. Now, if you have a chord of C major 7th, sharp 5, you know, you're going to have to play major 7th, usually I'm thinking Lydian, Lydian with a sharp 5 that gives me the Phrygian melodic minor. You see, it sounds great, eh? So, now you know what to play with those, all those major chords.